The Surfing Violinist presents The Violin Vlog, episode 21. I keep getting messages and Facebook comments about quote-unquote violinists locally playing at big chain store parking lots. I have not witnessed one of these that is actually playing the violin. This was sent to me by a friend, and this dude is not playing anything. He's doing pretty good faking the bow part, but his fingers are not even close. If you see these in the wild, message me with a video, and I'll give my assessment. These are not buskers. They are panhandling frauds. Look, I've got nothing against beggars, but just beg, all right? Like, don't lie to people about your ability to play a violin. So YouTuber and professional violinist Eric Stanley made a video outlining this fraud uh, a while back, and <laughs> many people have used this exact song this guy's playing here locally in Panama City Beach. It turns out, uh, Eric Stanley pointed out, it's Josh Vietti's in the club cover from 2015. The, they're just literally playing it off YouTube, y'all. I, yeah, I can't really say anything about the kid, but the mom, she should really be ashamed of herself for this one. I mean, she is really like out here just hustling these kids. I've been asked by Golf Talent Services to do some strolling electric violin gigs, as those are becoming more popular. So I did a rough demo version, which you can see linked in the description. In September, we did another performance at So Wall House, this time featuring some string quartet covers of Radiohead, which you can hear here. This event was a little different. We were more ambience music this time, as So Wall put together a big art exhibition. It was a little bit more laid back, but we had some great music selections, including a vitamin string quartet arrangement of Creep, which I've arranged for a micro overture, and you can hear that linked in the description below. Anthony's gig promotion social media posts keep upping the ante. Got some requests for musical analysis and potential covers of two Marathi songs from TJX on YouTube, including Bai Gan and Chira Bharni. Bai Gan is beautiful and Chira Bharni is epically haunting. I will hope to get to them someday. My latest performance at Seagrass Village was well received and I got my first written request, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It just so happens that someone had a phenomenal arrangement on Muse score, which I've linked below. You can hear a bit of that here. As I mentioned in the September Masala vlog, my channel caught the wave of accounts on Twitter and YouTube dedicated to signal boosting RRR's bid for an Oscar. So we got a few extra views this month and the inevitable cricketer comparison was thrown out. One of these days I'll have to meet John T. Rhodes, I reckon, because with this pick in particular, I do see a resemblance for sure. It's, yeah, it's pretty close. Until next time, keep practice, performance, and production consistent even if your muse isn't. Godspeed. To see these videos early without ads, join the lineup here on YouTube. You just need a YouTube account, and for $1.99 a month, you click this little join button and sign up to get early and ad-free access to four monthly vlogs. The Surf Vlog, the Masala Vlog, the Violin Vlog, and the Family Vlog. Thank you very much.